Good morning, or noon actually, it's almost noon, uh, and welcome to a new episode of Vlogmas, episode 4. This is going to be the last episode, and yeah, I thought I would take you along with me for the next two or three days. It is Friday today, and I have just closed the shop officially for um, the holiday break, so um, I closed it to new orders earlier this week and to give me this week um, to finish up orders and things like that. And so, yeah, this is, I just I just finished. I have two parcels that are supposed to go out tomorrow. The postie is gonna come collect them, one for a lovely customer and one for one of my stockists. And yeah, that's it. I've set, out, I've set up my out of office email. I have erased the little uh, chalkboard on which, on which I write down, write down the, um, uh, the orders that are I need to make, the open orders, so that's all done, everything is done, and yeah, time for a little break. Um, it has been a really, really good year for the shop. I am very grateful to you because I know a lot of you have ordered from my shop this year, and so yeah, it is thanks to you that it's been a really good year. It is also thanks to a few new stockists. This has been a good year for me for wholesale, so a few more shops are now stocking my stitch markers, which is really great. Uh, some of them who do order um, regularly, and I'm sure will continue in 2024. So yeah, it's been, it's been good. It's been busy though. It's been very, very busy. And yeah, I've barely had any time off, and so I'm really looking forward to a couple of weeks off and then starting again in January. So yeah, what is planned this weekend? So I have, so I have plans, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see because I often make plans and then life happens and yeah, it's, yeah, everything's get messed up. But anyway, so like I said, it is Friday, so I don't really have much planned this afternoon. Uh, I would like to go to Boots. It's like a pharmacy kind of place here in the UK to buy a hot water bottle because I really want to make the Maxine hot water bottle by uh, Laura of Penrose Knits and I don't have a hot water bottle which is very weird I'm probably the only person in the UK who doesn't have one and I kind of need one uh, for like cramps because I know it really um, it really helps me like I have pretty bad cramps the first couple of days of my period and I know a hot water bottle would be really really helpful the thing is that like I get my period I have cramps and I get annoyed with myself because I don't have a hot water bottle. I vow to go buy a new one and then I forget. And then I have cramps again. So <laughs> yes, we are going to do that this afternoon and then I will knit myself a nice hot water bottle cover. I think I'm gonna use the leftover, um, I have some Jameson and Smith uh, leftover yarn from a hat that I made for Kyle. So I think I'm gonna use this. And then, yeah, I think I'm just gonna knit and relax this afternoon really. We don't have much planned tonight. Tomorrow, Saturday in the morning, I'm gonna go with my for a run with my running group. Uh, it is the last run of the year for us, um, and yeah, we're gonna meet. You, we always run on when, on Wednesday nights, but then every other Saturday we meet in the morning for a run, and then we go for coffee. So that's gonna be really, really nice. I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully, it doesn't rain because it's been raining for days. Um, and then in the afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, I really want to organize my yarn stash and I will definitely film that. Um, yeah, it is getting a little bit out of control. Not that I have, I do have a lot of yarn. Most of the yarn has project assigned to it. So it's not so much about de-stashing for me. It's just the yarn is everywhere and I need it to be organized. I need it to be in places where it's not in my way or I'm not always having to move yarn out of the way to access something else. And also I would like to find a way to have it stored in such a way that I can see it. So I remember I have it and I remember to use it because if my yarn is at the bottom of a bag or something, I'll forget about it and then I will never use it or I might buy very similar yarn for a project when I could have used this one. So yeah, this is the goal for tomorrow afternoon. So hopefully that happens too and we can do that together. And then, yeah, Sunday, I don't know that we have much planned. If the weather is nice, we might go for a walk to the beach in the morning. And then in the afternoon, I would like to make a few more Christmas decorations for the flat. We really like to make every Christmas those oranges that you, um, oh, how would you say that? 
like you decorate them with cloves you know like you put clove sticks i guess i don't know uh, in the orange to make like a nice pattern and then we wrap a ribbon about around it and we put cinnamon stick and um anise star anise and then we hang it over like the doorways and it smells really really nice so i think we might want to try and do that on sunday afternoon and then just a whole bunch of knitting oh and on monday night we're going to the royal botanic garden um light and sound show and that is going to be really fun i'm really really looking forward to that i enjoy going every year so i will take you along with me for that and i think i think after that that might be it for um for that episode for this episode and for vlogmas so yeah um i'm sure i'll say i'll say this five five million times in the video but thank you so so much for um all your lovely comment and all the, all the support during vlogmas it's been so wonderful it's i feel like uh i feel like i've grown closer to you guys in a way because we've chatted a bit more in the comments than we would usually on the regular podcast which because i think vlogmas and the vlog type of content just lends itself to more conversation than um just a regular podcast episode and it's been nice to read uh where you are in the world like in in if you haven't watched it yet in my episode three of vlogmas i'm doing a little bit of a giveaway um at the end of the video just to celebrate the milestone like we've gone over four thousand subscribers and i'd asked if you want to enter please leave a comment and let me know where you are in the world so it's been really really fun to read like you guys are all over it's amazing it's so so cool and um yeah so if you haven't entered the giveaway yet go back to episode three and enter and I will draw the winners, not in this video, but in the next one next week, which will be a regular podcast episode, because I've been knitting a lot since my last normal podcast, and I have a lot to show you, and that will come out on Boxing Day. But yeah, um, before I go for today, I thought I would update you on my knitting since the last time I saw you, which, which was... I don't remember since I last, like when I last filmed, maybe last Monday. I've just been working all week and so I didn't film because it was like, I don't know, very repetitive. Also really had to like get things done. Uh, I was really busy. And then there's some designs I'm not really sure I, I can like really share or something. So yeah, anyway, I was just working. So that's why I haven't filmed since Monday. But yeah, so my knitting. So I'll show you my progress on my, um, uh, stripey advent sock. I am behind on the stripes. Uh, I think I've only done two stripes. I've only done 11 stripes and today is... I don't know what day it is. The 14th or the 15th. And so yeah, I need to do more stripes. But the reason I'm a bit behind is one, I've been busy with work and haven't had time to knit as much. But also I've been doing the heels. So this is the one sock. So I've been... at did the heel and I turned it last night and then I'm about halfway through uh, the heel flap on the second sock and I was counting and ele like exactly 11 stripes because I'm just getting to the next collar here was 50 rounds which is great because for me that's what I do for the legs of my socks and I think um, I think my my for my foot I usually do maybe like around 70 rounds so that should give me another I don't know like 13 or 14 stripes which would make the total of 24 25 which is great so this is what I want to finish the heel flap today and all the whole heel on that and then maybe do a couple more stripes um, they knit really fast so that'll be fun but yeah the heel always takes a bit more time so that's my advent project. I'm also excited because there is something else with the advent, with that sock in the parcel, which is this little bag. And it says, no peeking, do not open until December 25th. And it kind of feels like yarn. And I didn't know that was coming with the, with the sock yarn. So I'm really excited, but I'm gonna be good and I'm gonna leave it until Christmas. I have swatched for my rue sweater the test that i was telling you the last time that i'd been accepted into i guess for um the crea bea so 
If you've watched the previous Vlogmas, you know that I bought some Hillis Vag yarn for that green and beige in Norway, when I was in Norway. And my intention really was to use it for that. I bought it specifically for that. Unfortunately, let me grab this swatch. It didn't work out when I swatched. So this is the swatch and it looks nice. It looks very nice. The issue is that I'm really struggling with gauge. Um, I have gauge on the green part. I should, I need to go an, an up a needle size on the color work part. The thing is that it's very drapey and I don't really like the fabric. I was envisioning this sweater as something in a more like dense, thick fabric. And this is absolutely not what I'm getting in here. Like this is very, very drapey and you can really tell the thickness like you can feel the difference between the stocking it part and the collar work part in terms of thickness and i think that would bother me so i was very sad for a minute and then um i was able to think rationally again and you know it's except that this is just not the yarn for this project it is still very beautiful yarn and i'm really really looking forward to using it for something else and I'm waiting for that something else to come into my life. So instead, I wanted to keep, I still wanted to do it in green and beige or white or cream or something. And so I looked into my stash and decided to use for the green, a cone of Jemson and Smith. It's up on the shelf. I don't know if you can see it over there. Um, in the shade, I think it's FC12. And then for the beige, I was going to, I am going to use a cone of Len Paysan, that uh, yarn, I've used it in my striped hype sweater, if you've seen that episode, like the, the beige color. So I am going to use that. Those are both fingering weights. I'm going to hold each double because you need a DK for this pattern, but they're very plump and they're much thicker. And yeah, so as I swatched, I'm going to show you. I need to go up uh, a needle size for the color work, but this is what the swatch looks like. I don't know if you can see the depth of color of that green. It's beautiful. And yeah, I'm so much like, I'm so happy with this. That's so, so much like more happy with this watch. It is very nice and squishy and thick. You can barely tell the difference between the color work part and the stocking net part. Like it's really nice and dense. And I absolutely love it. I'm so happy. And I have I have a 500 cone, a 500 gram cone of the green. And I have like the beige was originally a kilo, the cone. And I've used a tiny bit for my other sweater. So I have more than enough yarn. And yeah, I'm so excited. It's so, so nice. So yeah, this is my swatch. Um, as you can tell, probably like the stocking part are a bit wider. So. I do need to go up a needle size for the color work, which is fine. The yarn will just, like it's not gonna be gapy or anything. And yeah, it's gonna be wonderful. It's also very soft, I love it. So I can't wait to cast this on. This is part of the plan for this weekend. I would like to cast this on and start with the, you start with all like the green at the top for a while before you do the color work. So yeah, so, so happy with this. And then I, I have, I'm, um, I'm on a bit of a color work kick right now. I just learned like maybe a couple of months ago to do color work and I made a, a hat for Kyle. Uh, I don't know if he was wearing it in any of the videos that you would have seen before, but I will, I will just put a picture here of, just in case you haven't seen it. And that was my very first color work project. And I will talk about it in all the details in my next, in my next podcast next week, but I had so much fun. I love color work. All I want to do is color work now. And so I just cast on something else. Uh, I cast on this cow, the Sunwick cow by Donna Smith. This is in her own yarn. This is a kit that I bought when I went to Shetland in September to have a cow for when I go out because I don't know if you know this, but in my previous video, I'm wearing this like fabric blue cow that is absolutely ugly. It's warm, but it's very ugly. It's from Decathlon. And I would like to have this only for when I go running because I don't care if it gets all dirty and sweaty, but I would like to have a nice woolly cow for when I want to wear a cow and I'm not running. So this is the yarn that I am using. 
It is Donna Smith. I think it's called Lens Langsun Yarn. It is Shetland wool. It is a DK, but a very, very plump DK. It is absolutely lovely. And I don't remember the name of the colors that I have. Oh no, I think this is Morit. It's all undyed. And this is Light Stain, I think. And I've only done a teeny tiny bit, but this is what it looks like so far. Um, so it's got like rolls at the top. So you start with the middle one, the bottom one, then you do the color work, the bottom one, the middle one, and then the most outer one you do afterward, you like pick up stitches. But yeah, and I'm having so much fun. It is very addictive. I'm using my little sheep stitch marker because well this set is called Shetland sheep I have three sheep in the in the stitch marker set so it felt right and then I think the brown color is like very similar to that of the yarn so it matches and that makes me happy so yes this is what I have been knitting on I'll go into a lot more details about all of this when I record my podcast but I thought I would show you now and yes it's been 15 minutes already of me rambling or not rambling but like talking to you <laughs> and there's a lot more that I would like to film for this vlog and hopefully it's not too too long so yeah I'm gonna leave you here for now and I think I will speak to you again probably tomorrow when we start organizing my yarn stash and then in between now and then I will put a bit of b-roll for you of what I'm up to all right See you later. Good morning and happy Sunday. Um, it is Sunday today. I didn't end up filming at all yesterday. Um, I had a great time on my run in the morning with my friends. and But then I just, um, oops, hold on. Lily wants to go out. All right, like I said, uh, I had a great day, uh, a great morning running with my friend. And then after I came back home, I just got really tired and had like a bit of a migraine or something. So I really didn't feel like filming or um, organizing the uh, yarn stash like I had planned. So we are going to do this today. Hi, Luna. Hello. Um, yeah, so this is what we're going to do this morning. Uh, I was hoping to go for a walk to the beach this morning, but it is incredibly windy and it is raining. So that is a no. Um, we'll, the beach will have to wait for some other time. But yeah. Hi, Luna. Come. Okay. Hello. And I don't know if you can see her. Um, so yeah, we are organizing the yarn stash this morning. Um, yeah, I think we'll just get started. I'm going to show you sort of what I'm working with and uh, what I would like to have. Um, yes, hi. And what I would like to have at the end of the organizing. So grab a cup of tea. I have mine in my cute little Robin mug. I really like Robins. They're very cute. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Hello. Are you okay? Yeah? Are you gonna be good and not get into the yarn? Yeah? All right, let me flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you what we're working with. All right, so this is my um, studio. 
And so basically this is what we have. So I've got my desk here where I work all the time. So ideally this is gonna be as clear as possible at all times. Um, I have two boxes on here right now which normally go into a closet where I have one is the scraps of um, like superwash yarn, sock yarn, and then the other is the scraps of the rest or so whatever I'm left with after a sweater or things like that, like non-superwash rustic yarn. Then, I hope I'm not making you sick by moving around a lot. We have here this shelf which you have seen because I film in front of that and the bottom shelf I'm happy with this is all my fabric let me show you so this is all my fabric and I'm fine with this being this way the second shelf however is a nightmare right now this is all the yarn that I brought back from Oslo and that needs another place because usually this is where my project bag live my project bags live, the one that I'm using with my knitting in it, my works in progress, and I would like them back here. So all of this needs to go, this at the front as well. This basket here is fine. It's got, oh, I've got my glasses here. It's got some um, Jameson and Smith yarn and it fits perfectly. I think this I'm gonna leave here as well. This I need to sort and put somewhere else. And yeah, um, so this is the main thing that we need to deal with and then this is fun as well this is my sewing supplies this is my knitting books I'm fine with this and I'm fine with what's on the top as well um, then we have this fireplace which does not work um, but the mantel piece is good for yarn I'm mostly okay with the yarn that's on top of it but then there's this shelf and this needs to be sorted as well so I've got cones I've got balls of yarn I've got yarn that has been wound but not used yet so we need to do something about this and um, I also need to deal with this I'll explain that to you later and then here sorry I, ha I had to like cut for a second I was interrupted but uh, and here in this chest which I will open in a minute I have more yarn and I also have all my sweaters uh, and ideally I would like this to be only for sweaters uh, that are already knitted. These are the project bags I was telling you about that I would like to go onto the other shelf. These are the three that I'm using. Um, they're pretty much the only three that I'm using. They're by um, Harriet of Wildwood Stitches. They're really, really nice. I have a few more if I have more than three projects, but that's not usually the case. And yeah, that's my advent and bits of yarn as well. And then if we keep going, I've got some yarn up here. So. I'm happy with this shelf. This is my um, Christmas sock yarn. The top shelf, I don't know. I might need to rethink that. I have this shelf with all my needles and then some more yarn, which I might have to rethink as well. Um, this is just like my shawls and my things that live on a hanger. And then I have this pegboard. Let me see if I can back up far enough. Um, so I have this pegboard for more like single skeins so I'm really glad with this and I don't think this is going to change much if anything I might add more single skeins on that and then just below it I have these two baskets so this basket here is my uh, no nylon non superwash sock yarn and then this basket is my no nylon on non superwash socks which I would like to put somewhere else. I would like to put in the same drawers as my other socks because I don't really think of wearing them if they're here. And I would like to free this basket to use it with, uh, for something else. All right, so this is what we are working with right now. And um, yeah, so there's not, I mean, I guess there's a lot and there's not a lot. Uh, oh, sorry, I've got the um, shadows on my face. But um, yeah, so this is what we're working with now. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all the yarn in the middle of the room on the floor and then see exactly uh, what I've got and then go from there. I think just clear off all the spaces and then that I, like clear off all the shelves that I want to clear off and then put all the yarn on the floor and then sort the yarn there and then see what goes where, I think. Right, let's do this.
Right, so I've pulled out all my cones here. I've put them on the desk for now, but the, where they were before, uh, let me move slowly for you. Up on the shelf, up here, I think is where they're going to live. I'm going to put those back. This here, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with yet, but we'll see. And then let me show what I've put on the floor then. Let me see if I can back up slowly. Sorry about the noise. All right, so this is what it looks like. And what we have here, I've, it's somewhat organized. Um, here, all of this or um, all of these are uh, sweaters quantity or garment yarn. Basically like stuff that I have enough of to make either a sweater, this is for a big shawl, these are for like summer tops, this is for my Celeste sweater, all of this is uh, assigned to sweater, sweaters. And then all of this here is mostly for accessories. These four over there are for uh, socks, like no nylon non superwash socks, so I'm going to put that in the basket with the others but all of these otherwise are for accessories. And I think what I'm gonna do is the ones that are in skeins still, I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna put on my pegboard and the others I'm gonna put um, up in the shelf right here. And then, let me bring you back down slowly. Um, these here, or leftovers and basically I don't really know what to do with them so there's not enough left for sweaters quantity there's probably enough for accessories but I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with them and I don't know where I'm going to store them just yet so I think I'm going to go ahead put everything else that I know where I want to put it in its place and then we'll see what is left and what we need to sort out Alright, I think we are done, mostly. Uh, there's just a few bits and bobs to tidy, but um, I think we're mostly done. So I'm going to give you a tour. I'm really pleased with how it's looking. It feels so much better. It feels much more, yeah, organized, less chaotic. And yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very pleased. So let me show you what we've got. Okay, so on the pegboard, we have, I think I showed you a minute ago, all my sort of single skeins that are still in um, the skein. Um, and then all of this is either gonna be for socks or accessories. We have the little basket of uh, sock yarn and then I decided to switch things around and then put my nice Rama yarn here. And then that also that is also gonna be for accessories and then just like also little bits and bobs that are for accessories. So this is what the pegboard looks like now. And if we keep walking towards the window, I made no changes to that shelf or that shelf. That is fine the way it is. Um, the trunk, I showed you the inside a second ago. So there's my sweaters quantity and then um, my actual sweaters. I mean, you've, you've seen that already, but yeah. And then on top right now, I just have my advent calendar, which is really nice because I sometimes use that, use that surface to uh, work as well. I put my iPad and my things while I work from my um, armchair here. So yeah, it's nice that this is a bit clear. And then 
above the fireplace. So I've decided to leave these yarns on top of the mantelpiece. These are all my leftover from my woolly knit cone. So I don't know if that right. I hung some of my um, skeins here and then yeah at the top I showed you earlier we've got the cones on the top and then sort of sweaters quantity slash things that is already wound um, and then the space that is here I think I'm going to put um, the green yard that I'm using currently for my rue sweater that I'm going to have leftovers I'm just going to cake it and leave and put it with the orange yarn here so this is what it looks like I hope this is okay me filming this because it's it feels a bit strange I'm afraid I'm gonna give you motion sickness or something all right and then um, in the shelf so the top two shelves are fine uh, nothing's changed and then the bottom shelf nothing's changed as well and then this is just the way I want it now so I have my project bags these are the one that I use uh, all the time so my current whips are in there and then this side is all my um, Jameson and Smith uh, or Jameson's of Shetland yarn. Uh, I'm actually planning to use that fairly quickly uh, in the basket. You've got two quantities on this side and then on this side for make to make cows. The gray it was to make mittens and this is leftover from Kyle's hat that I'm going to turn into a hot water bottle. So ideally, hold on let me flip you around so I can talk to you directly. All right, let's see how long I can hold the camera. So yeah, ideally what I would like to do is use this up, use this up fairly quickly and then use this space, find some sort of a, a basket or something to put sweaters in. Because the other issue that I have is that, I think we all have, is that we knit, we knit sweaters and sweaters and sweaters and then some we wear, some we don't. And I feel like, they're good in the trunk, they're safe and everything, but I also kind of forget what I have. Same as the yarn. So my idea would be to, once this is gone, to have sort of a basket and then once a week or every other week or maybe once a month and go through my sweaters and then pick out a few that I'm gonna wear for that time period, whatever that time period is. I think it would be really fun. I've seen a lot of like makeup YouTubers do that, beauty YouTubers who have tons and tons of makeup and so, every month or every week they do a sort of rotation like they pick a few that they're going to use and i think that could be a really nice way of making sure that i wear all of my sweaters because i really like all of them except one that i'm going to show you that i'm going to frog uh in a second i'm going to show you that but i just end up wearing the same all the time because they're on top of the pile basically so i thought maybe having like a space for a few sweaters and do like a rotation system could be could be good so yeah we'll see you may also have noticed that um, I pulled out oh, sorry that was a weird shot I pulled out my Celeste sweater it's not on the shelf it's not in storage because I'm gonna cast this on very soon and then I want to talk to you for a second about this red yarn so let me um, let me put the camera down so <laughs> I don't lose my arm all right so I have a bit of red yarn here on my desk that looks kind of strange and so basically those are two projects so this that I frogged or that I want to frog so this was a hat um, it was a I don't remember what pattern I used but basically it was nice but I just made it too big so I was never wearing it so I decided to frog it I have uh, let, let it soak a bit so it's not as like noodly as it was before and so I'm going to wind that back. I also have the leftover yarn from that project that I'm going to wind. Um, I'm just going to make one ball of like the mohair and the fingering uh, wound together as, as if it was one strand. And I'm going to knit another hat and mittens. I would like to make myself some penny gloves and I think I will make a matching muscle bra hat. And then um, this sweater which is the, um, that's the crescendo sweater by the Knit Pearl Girl, which is a lovely pattern. I just, I just never wear mine. And I'm not really sure why, but I think I'm not pleased with the combination of the pattern and the yarn that I chose. And also I have two balls of this yarn left. Like most, like, I think one is full and the other is almost full. And I just don't know what to do with it and it's like it's annoying me a little bit so I'm gonna frog this sweater and I think I would like to use the yarn to make um, 
Oh, what is it called? That new sort of like cardigan slash jacket that Florence of Handmade by Florence just designed. It's in testing right now. Uh, I think it's got like the fennel seed is it jacket or the fennel seed cardigan. It's a red cardigan. And I think I think that would look very nice. And I think I would wear it a lot more if it were more of a, um, of a vest slash cardigan. I think one of the reasons that I don't wear it as much is because um, the yarn, uh, I don't know if you can tell or not. Maybe not, but the yarn really like catches onto all the cat hair and it, the cat hair really, really show on this yarn and that drives me nuts. So I don't wear it at home and then I forget I have it. I don't wear it outside, blah, blah, blah. So I feel like if I had it as more like a jacket cardigan that is made to be worn outside more, I would wear it more. So this is the plan. I'm going to frog this. I've never frogged the whole sweater that I've made, but I'm just... I'm not happy with, I'm not wearing this sweater, so I might as well use the yarn for something else and something that I will actually wear. So yeah, this is what, um, yeah, this is what it is. So uh, I think that concludes the yarn organizing. I feel so much better. It wasn't actually as much work as I thought it was gonna be, but I do feel better. I have a better sense of what I have. I Not everything feel as cluttered, so yeah, I'm going to leave you here for now. It's almost lunchtime and I'm very hungry. So we're going to go eat and then I'm not really sure what we're going to do this afternoon. We might do those like orange and clove decoration for the flat. Or we might go for a short walk in, in the park near us. But yeah, I don't really know. But I will take you with me, whatever it is that we do. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> Hello, it is a uh, Monday night or like late afternoon and the day hasn't really gone to plan today. Um, I just wanted like a nice relaxing day, like a first Monday off work and everything. But uh, we noticed that Watson had a little wound on his tummy and because he's so old, we like to get things like checked quickly with him. So we ended up going to the vet and all that. And he's fine. Like we, the vet gave us like a cream to, um, help like heal the wound and um yeah we have to take him uh, back in a month anyway for his vaccination so they'll check him again then if we don't need to take him if we don't feel the need to take him there before but i'm sure he'll be fine we just want to be um as careful as we can with him just because he's so old we just want to make sure that he's always doing um okay but yeah anyway he's fine now hopefully he stays fine and yeah i just wanted to um just come on here for just a second because we are about in like 15 minutes we're about to go to the botanic garden for the um, music and light or like sound and light show that i've been telling you about and I'm really excited for that. It's going to be nice. It's um, hopefully not raining, but it's also not very cold. So I think that's going to be quite nice. But I just thought because it's Monday and it's the last week of um, Advent that we could very quickly open the last bag of my Advent calendar. So the long Avicana Advent calendar, there's hair everywhere. And yeah, let's see what's in it. So ooh, there's fluff. <laughs> I believe this is 
a pom-pom, so I'm assuming we're getting a hat pattern indeed. The Frosty Fields beanie. This is what it looks like. It's very pretty. Um, like very simple, but in a very pretty way. And so the yarn is, oh, there's three balls this time around. In the past, we've only had two. Oh, it's a lovely color. So we've got two balls of uh, this yarn, this color. So this is a double merino, so the DK weight in the shade Châtaigne, which means um, chestnut. It is a very lovely, like, it's a bit, it shows a bit more yellow on camera. It's like a nice, like, caramelly kind of color. And then the contrast color is this one called Dune, which is Dune, like a, like a sand dune or something like that. And hold on, if it focuses, yeah. It's like a nice, like, warm, like, gray beige kind of color. And I think they look very nice together. That is really lovely. I might make this hat. I really like it. Or I might just make something else. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I thought I would just come on here for just a second to show you what's in the advent for today. I'm always, I'm also, not always, I'm also all caught up on my socks, my advent socks. So this is what it looks like now. So we've got the heel and then that's the colors where I'm at for the foot just now. And then, yeah, so this is going well. This is really fun. And then, yeah, now off to get ready and going to the botanic garden and I will take you with me. Hello, good afternoon. It is Tuesday today and I'm just about to finish editing this episode and so I wanted to come here and yeah, properly conclude the episode and this Vlogmas because this is the last episode that I'm going to do for Vlogmas this year. I am joined by Lily right here, all curled up in my cardigan <laughs> and yeah, uh, it feels a bit strange and a bit emotional to finish Vlogmas. I've had a really, really good time. A much better time than I was expecting. Um, I was just feeling a bit um, anxious at the start of Vlogmas and not really feeling confident or knowing what I was uh, doing, but it's been wonderful. Uh, I've really, really enjoyed it. And I know many of you have as well, because you've said so in the comments and so, I'm very grateful. I've had a lot of fun. I hope you've had a lot of fun. And this is definitely something that I can see myself do again in the future. So I'm really looking forward to that. Thank you so very much to all of you for watching, for all your lovely comments and um, everything. Like I've said earlier, I feel like it feels to me like we've connected more during Vlogmas because of the vlogs and 
things like that and that makes me really really happy and so I'm looking forward to another year of podcast episode and probably the occasional vlog when something um, specific happened that I feel like I want to vlog and yeah um, I wanted to finish this video by also talking about a very fun uh, event that is happening very soon and that I'm going to take part in. This event is the, it's a 12 hour charity live stream that is being organized by Venetia of the Wooly Worker podcast uh, to celebrate the anniversary of her podcast. Uh, I'm sure if you follow her, you know all about this because she's been talking about it for a couple of weeks, uh, even more maybe actually. And yeah, it's a wonderful event that she is doing on the 2nd of January. She's going to be doing a 12 hour long live stream from 12 noon to 12 midnight uh, UK time to raise money for the Samaritans, which is a UK mental health charity. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because she's so much better at explaining everything. So I would very, very uh, much like to encourage you to go over to her channel and her Instagram where she explains everything. Uh, she set herself a lot of fun challenges and yeah, I think it's going to be really fun. Um, definitely go over and to check this out and also be there on the second on her uh, YouTube to chat with her in the in the like under the live stream video and keep her company and um, one of the very fun things that she does for that is that she's gonna have a few of us podcaster to come and be on the live with her for about I think we about half a half an hour each and so yeah I will be I will be doing this I will be keeping her company for a little bit um, on that day. Um, I think I'm the first podcaster to go on at two in the afternoon, again UK time. But then there's also other wonderful podcasters like Marlene of Marlene Knits, Amy of Knee Knits and plenty of others. So again, uh, go and check out her Instagram and her YouTube to see who else is going to be there. She also has amazing sponsors uh, who will be donating prices and offering discounts. Uh, I will be donating a couple of stitch marker sets, but then she has people like Knitting for Olive and John Arben and yeah, like fantastic yarn uh, dyers as well and indie yarn dyers. So yeah, it's going to be really wonderful. I'm really excited for it. So yeah, uh, come and join us on the second. Uh, I will be there as well uh, for a little bit and then, you know, stick around and, and um, hang out with the other podcasters and, uh, and obviously with Venetia <laughs> who's going to be doing this for 12 hours and I'm sure she'll appreciate the company um, and help her raise money for this uh, wonderful, wonderful charity. Uh, as part of this event we are also, Venetia and I, are going to be hosting a knit along which I think is going to be very exciting. I've never I've never hosted a knit along before so I think it's going to be really really fun and uh, I thought I would talk about it just a little bit here so it's going to be called the winter set knit along and the idea is that uh, we would knit a winter accessories set this is something that we've been talk chatting about together of wanting like matching accessor winter accessory sets so like hat, mittens, um, cowls, shawls that kind of thing that would be matching basically and so we thought we would make a knit along out of that if you would like to join us that would be really really fun so we are starting the knit along on winter day so the winter solstice the 21st of december and we are running it until spring day so march 20th i think it is and i will have details on the screen um somewhere so yeah and so the idea is that uh, people who wish to participate would create a would knit a or crochet I guess if you want a winter accessories set by set we mean two pieces at least so in order to enter for prices because there will be prices um, you need to enter at least two finished objects uh, those can be the matching set in itself so like a hat and mittens for example that match and that would be your set and your entry uh, but if you already have for example you have a hat and you want to make um, like matching mittens that is fine but that will count at half an inch as half an entry so you would need to make some other piece that might match with another thing that you already have knit in the past that's also uh, absolutely fine and by matching we mean either 
two items that are knit in the same yarn or two items that are designed as a set um, or two or three or like more items that have sort of like that look like a set even if they are not necessarily designed as a set so like someone who would see it like on like see it on you on on the street outside or whatever be like oh those are matching you know so uh, I know Venetia is planning to do um, she has a color work cowl like the Burra cowl I think it's called by Marie Wallen it's really really lovely and so she's planning to knit mittens color work like fair isle mittens and a hat possibly I'm not sure about the hat um, in the same yarns like the same colors in the same yarn so the patterns are not meant to be a set but because she's going to be using the same colors and the same yarn and they're all going to be fair isle then they're going to work as a set you see what i mean uh, i am planning to do um a muscle bra hat and some penny gloves using the same yarn so that will be one of my sets i'm also planning i also very much would like to do uh to knit the hedra headband and the matching mittens so those have been designed as a set in the same yarn as well so that would also be another set for me so yeah i hope that makes sense if not please leave the, your questions below i hope you're excited i'm very excited and i hope you will uh, participate i have created a ravelry bundle with pattern inspiration for winter accessory set so please go ahead and have a look at that if you're interested and if you're looking for inspiration i will have the link down below and then if you have pattern ideas or yeah, ideas of patterns that would work as a set, whether it's been designed as such or not, please let me know or let Venetia know, and then I will add them to the Ravelry bundle as well. So please, yeah, if you have any ideas, um, leave it in the comments below. Um, I think that is all, I, oh no, where is the knit along going to be um, hosted? It's gonna be hosted over on Instagram. So there will be two hashtags. One is gonna be, um, winter set cowl I'm just, I'll put it on the screen just to make sure that I'm not you know saying something wrong here but I believe one is going to be winter set cow so that's going to be all of your pictures if you want to use this hashtags like the yarn you're going to use like your whip pictures and things like that and then there's going to be a winter set fo just for the finished objects and so and we're going to draw prices from a bit of both but we'll talk about it it's going to be a long relaxed knit along but we'll talk about it in our podcast over the next few months so yeah don't worry too much about that just yet but if you want to participate if you want to participate please do that would be really really lovely we can all knit our matching accessories together and yeah make sure you let us know in like use the hashtags and then if you have pattern ideas that you would like me to add to the Ravelry inspiration bundle then let me know as well and I can do that so yes this is all I wanted to share with you uh, really excited about this knit along really really excited about Venetia's event her live stream is going to be fantastic I'm so looking forward to that and yeah, on that note, once again, I'm going to say thank you so, so much for being with me throughout this Vlogmas. I've had really, really the, like, the most fun. It was really wonderful. And I hope you did too. And then I will see you again very soon in about a week's time for a normal podcast episode that, if all goes well, should go up on my channel on Boxing Day, so December 26th. All right, thanks again. I'm gonna leave you with a few images of um, our time at the Edinburgh Christmas Market that I went to this morning with Kyle. I hope you'll enjoy that and I will see you later in the next one. Happy knitting, bye.